Okay. All right, ready to go? All right, go. Thank you, Tony. Um, you know, after reviewing the film, much like I said after the game, a lot of good things to build on, but a lot of work to do. And uh, you always like it that way. It's, a, it's always uh, much more pleasant to go to work um, after a victory, knowing there's a lot of things we can improve on. Uh, once again, very uh, pleased with the uh, many good things that went on. Uh, the biggest thing is the effort. I felt like our kids played extremely fast uh, and aggressive, and I felt like they were in great shape. So you see early on, uh, it's very easy to get cramps and to get winded and to play at that type of game speed, very amped up, first time playing at home in a while in front of fans. And so it's easy to uh, overexert yourself or to get uh, winded a little bit. And I felt like uh, we were in very played, uh, you know, many more snaps, which was good. And uh, they played very aggressive. So we made mistakes, but we made them going fast. A lot of things to improve on. And uh, we're looking forward to getting to, to getting to work this week. Coaches have been at it since yesterday morning, and players will be back this afternoon. We'll watch this film, uh, get some things corrected, and can't wait to get started on Missouri. You know it's going to be a, a big game at home. We're looking forward to it, looking forward to a packed house. Uh, we're going to need it. It's going to be a big challenge. Uh, they did an excellent job against us a year ago. Uh, we have a lot of things to improve on uh, to play them to beat this team. And uh, Got a lot of respect for uh, Coach Drinkwitz and, and what uh, Eli does and, and the way he runs his program. Very good team, making a lot of improvement. And uh, we're going to have to play a lot better here this week to beat them. Coach, how pleased are you that you had such a large margin in the score that allows you to play a lot of freshmen? How pleasing is that? Yeah, it's always helpful to get those guys reps and to uh, work on, you know, like I said, and, I don't mean this in any disrespect, but I mean, we need, we're just, we're working on us. We have to get better in, in a lot of areas and working hard. And that's what's, uh, you know, fun for us to, to go out there and, and to, to perform well, to play guys. You know, sometimes, you, you know, the games have a tendency to get sloppy and leave a bad taste in your mouth if, if you're ahead by a bunch and put some other guys in and, and uh, make some mistakes towards the end of the game and things of that nature. And, we certainly had, uh, you know, some plays to clean up, but overall, I was pleased with the young guys, and you could see their talent, and you could see uh, it was it was fun to play a lot of guys because they've worked very hard. Look at the film. What what was there about Will? What are you working with him? And what? Well, I think you know the the, the obvious things of just ball placement on certain throws, you know, but. Uh, that's always the case. Nobody's going to play perfect. You're going to strive for perfection, but uh, you know that's pretty hard to do. So, uh, Will missed a couple throws, or was just a couple slightly in front, maybe a couple slightly behind. Um, you know, but the operation was good. A few, a few things he could do better. Uh, reading it, it's, there's always things to improve on. But uh, he did many good things. Uh, but. Uh, Accuracy and maybe a little bit of a touch are things that he's going to continue to work on, and he'll get better. You know, we're not—I'm not at all concerned. I have a lot of confidence in him, and and just uh, game reps uh, are going to help him improve in a lot of areas. Last year, they were pretty physical. Missouri was. But you, you guys seem like it, it looked uncharacteristic almost. I know there's some extenuating circumstances obviously with your, on your end, but from what you saw this week, do you think that you'll be able to take that? You know. A, no, I think your observations are very fair and very in incorrect. I, I didn't like the way uh, we were, uh, you know, they played more physical than us, you know, a year ago, and uh, that is uncharacteristic, and and uh, I, I don't particularly like that, and uh, so you know we need to be much more physical this year. Well, the nice thing to say that the game wasn't perfect, but yet there was excellence. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was excellent pieces. Uh, there was some very good pieces, uh, but uh, consistency is what we're looking for. Mark, Missouri new defensive coordinator with Steve Wilkes, guy has NFL experience. What do you see from? Yeah. 
Yeah, they're they're aggressive. They're uh, they were they were heavy dose of man coverage in this first game and very aggressive and a bunch of guys at the line of scrimmage. So we're going to have to win some one on ones. That's for sure. We're going to be have to play physical, um, and we're going to have to win some one on one battles. But uh, very aggressive defense, very much uh, crowd in the line of scrimmage. So we've we've got to we've got to beat some man coverage. Mark, you talked a little bit. Saturday, but how encouraging was it to see Isaiah Epps make those plays in the second half, given all the injuries that he's had to fight through? Yeah, no doubt. Um, very happy for Isaiah. Just, just the fact that he has uh, persevered through some really tough times and and uh, really worked hard and a lot of rehab and you know I'm sure for him some frustration along the way and. Uh, a credit to our doctors staying with it and finding reasons why it wasn't healing up and and getting uh, his foot you know rectified getting it getting it fixed and uh, and uh, you know so I'm happy for him and obviously he helps us and uh, you know that was a really nice play I believe it was on the third down and uh, the fact that he was really running and uh, the fact that Will took that shot and saw it and had the vision to see it and the arm strength to get it out there in a, in a cover two defense to the field, uh, you know, that, that's, uh, that's rare. You guys had a lot of success in the offseason play action on, on Saturday. Is that, mm. And throwing the ball specifically. Mm. I know that it seemed like that part, for whatever reason, was missing the last that's that's no you know that's no big mystery what's that can I call you Captain Obvious on that one <laughs> uh, yeah so uh, no no disrespect <laughs> but that was yeah I mean no question uh, one goes with the other and uh, it was aggravating I, it's well documented I really don't want to go back to it anymore but uh, when you when you could run the ball like we have we have to be able to hit the ball down the field Mark, talk about, about uh, Bowles' pass when he was facing. Yeah, got hit. And, and, and he kept facing and delivered the pass to Dingle. Well, uh, first thing is, is you, you know, I hate, I'm not throwing anybody under the bus, but uh, his his best bud and roommate, uh, you know, owes him a pizza or something because uh, his boy whiffed and uh, got him hit right in the face. And uh, he hung in there and threw a, a great, great, ball and you know he knew he was going to get hit and it was a, a great catch by Dingle and you know it was fun to see those guys make that play. Mark, how encouraging is it to you to see when you look on that tackles for loss and you saw all those different guys with tackles I think what 14 of them in one game? Yeah that that you know really uh, that's always a starting point with me you know with both sides of the line of scrimmage you know I've said that since day one you've heard me say that a hundred times in these press conferences actually 101 now right I mean, 101 yeah but uh, so you know it's a line of scrimmage game and uh, we've got to continue to get better but I really like the effort that they played with you know we made some mistakes and um, you know we made some some penalties and some things that are very aggravating but we made them going extremely fast and playing extremely hard it was never for a lack of effort um, that's one thing that was obvious when I put on that film uh, was the effort and, and uh, you know, our guys really trying to, to play aggressive and play uh, fundamentally sound. And, again, there's many mistakes, but there's a lot to build on. But uh, we need to play with that mentality, and we certainly need to play with it this week, as it was just pointed out in here. This team was more physical than us a year ago, and we don't like to play that way. I sense that they were much more prepared to play last week, year than we were, and that's on me, you know. And so, um, I could promise you that's not going to happen again. Mark, how did Dear Rosenthal look? How did you evaluate his play after you looked at the video? He played uh, better, um, more consistent. He strained more to what, you know playing to our expectations and uh, in his own, you know, and uh, he did some good things and there's a lot to build on from there. Again, we're looking for the consistency and the consistency in effort and physicality 
and uh, he showed that in the first game. I want to continue to see that. Mark Liam said after the game that he was kind of pleasantly surprised at how calm you were on the sidelines. He said after that first series, he thought maybe you would go ballistic, but uh, you didn't. That's to, thanks to a perception that you guys put out of me. I mean, that's, I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't ever do that. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, so follow up on that. Yeah. Uh, this is not the new Mark yeah. suits. This is always that, That's all. I mean, listen, show me a coach in America that doesn't at some point or another, uh, you know, listen, I, I pride myself on and, and, and I coach my way through it. Believe me, it's been nine years and I have people that I've told you times, I believe me, I talk to people, I need psychologists, I need people to help me, you know, and be prepared for all situations. And, you know, I think over time, you know, I, I don't think I've ever, you know, I, I've prided myself on always keeping the composure and keeping things in control. Am I perfect? No, maybe you are, I'm not, you know what I mean? But, uh, but uh, you know, you always try to get better as well. You talk about nine years. And uh, Eli Drinkowitz, he's going on his second year, mm -hmm. and you know the challenges of being a second-year coach. You were coming off of a 2-10 and, and ten season. Uh, do you have any, maybe compassion is the wrong word, do you, can you identify as coaches together, or is your goal just to put that out of your mind and, and uh, send them packing? Oh, you? Eli, and I, <laughs> Eli, and I have, Eli and I have built a friendship, and I, and I like him, uh, but uh, he, he kicked our, our butt. You know, he kicked our butt. You know, uh, I'm not going to forget. You know, that, that's that's on my mind. He 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 had his team more prepared than I was. So uh, maybe he'll have some compassion for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is this week of practice one of those where you find yourself saying giddy up as opposed to roll more often than you would like? Or the opposite, you mean? Opposite. You're, you, you're saying the opposite, probably. Uh, uh, I want us excited about our preparation, but steady. You know, our team's at its best when we're very business-like, but having that sharp focus. Because you have to do this all year long. You know, you have to be at the same level every day, all the time, no matter who you're playing. Not too high, not too, not too, high, not too low, but sharp in your preparation. And, you know, as I've said again a hundred times, uh, you know, everybody wants to play on Saturday. How excited and motivated are people going to be on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Maybe it's hot out there. Maybe you're beat up. We're going to have physical practices. Are, are they going to prepare through the week? And uh, that that's always the message and the challenge. Mark, you quick. Is it true that Max Duffy almost ran over you at a Starbucks this year and wiped you out? You know, I got to listen to this podcast. <laughs> and Max, so, so, you know, I... I, I I'm going to have a talk with Max, you know, there's some things that are be between he and I, you know, and, uh, and he's sharing the, to the world, but I think he's a bit of a story tale teller, you know, so I'm going to have a talk with him. I'm going to jump on his podcast and straighten him out a little bit. You know? Speaking of time, yeah. I don't know, I wasn't necessarily sure mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he's, uh, we've got to get him back to where he can feel good during the week and everything. Um, you know, it's probably like a lot of sports when you're doing this, the same thing over and over again. You know, he kind of just put a little pressure on uh, parts of his back that's, uh, that we need to just get calmed down and get him comfortable where he can prepare like he normally would. And it was probably just from the same repetition and just over kicking a little bit. So. Mark, what are the challenges of Yeah, Connor is a very good player. We know very well. I have great respect for him. He came in last year and just did a, a remarkable job. I thought he was extremely poised. He, he has that uh, ability uh, to create space when he needs to and keeping his eyes down the field and extending plays. And, you know, just he's one of those guys that, that are very good, that are, you know, aggravating to a defense, you know, does what he has to do, whether he has to scramble by time, move in the pocket, scramble for a first down, you name it, he'll do what he has to do. But uh, very good player. I know you guys recruited him. Has mm -hmm. he turned out to be about what you thought? Uh, no question. I mean, uh, he's a very good player and uh, um, very efficient. You know, he's very good with this offense. They do a very good job. They're creative. A lot like us in some ways where they use a lot of motion shifts, uh, personnel groupings, um, 
they maybe use some trick plays to create big plays for them a little more than us, but they, uh, they're they also like us in their their shots are max, you know, protected. Uh, they, they get good protection when they're taking shots down the field. It's hard to get there. You know, there a lot of big plays happen on first, second down and in uh, picking their time to take shots and get the ball down the field. And they're very efficient. Uh, Sam, uh, what do you think of Dingle? I mean, uh, excuse me, I think, uh, uh, Octavius. Uh, Octavius did a, a, a really nice job. I thought he played faster than he had in the past. You could see he's worked hard in the off season. Um, really took to the coaching. He escaped and played fast and played with great energy. And uh, I was excited about that. Mark, how did your young linebackers play? And how did Jack, Jack was Jones had it? He played the three. Yeah, Jack was – he played good. He was banged up. He missed a little bit. You know, some of our linebackers were a bit out of position. We've got some things to uh, correct with um, just all the different things we did. I don't, I don't want to use the word communicate because then you guys will try to beat me over the head with that for a year. But, uh, you know, it's it's just – it's normal stuff. You know what I mean? We do a lot of things. And so, you know, sometimes it's strong hook, sometimes it's weak hook. But, you know what I mean, just the, the, in the changing of person – uh, personnel and, and formations, just cleaning up, you know, cleaning up some things with some inexperienced linebackers, um, you know. So, uh, again, I'm confident uh, that, that they'll all play well and we'll get them straightened out. And uh, But uh, we got some guys out of position that we got to get cleaned up. Mark, what did you think about the all-line play and the new run blocking? Um, you know, I felt like, um, you know, like, like a lot of years, I mean, there, there's a lot of good and there's a lot of things to build on, you know, and, and a lot to clean up, you know. So we always wish, uh, you know, we can uh, perform a, a touch better, you know, and, and it's like that, you know, finishing blocks, staying on guys longer. I'll tell you this, I liked the way we tried to be, you know, we were physical and tried to be physical. Um, there were some... We're, there were some yards out there that we left on the field, you know, with uh, with some cuts too, you know, that we got to get that we got to that we got to see better, you know, and you know, I'd like to believe it's because of the way we're running the ball right now. You know, our vision was better when everything was inside and downhill. It's a little different when we're teaching outside, 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 and then there's certain plays where they got to see it, and there was big runs backside, but that's. That's a running back's job, you know what I mean? So they're, 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 you don't know where it's going to hit on certain plays. Um, and, you know, obviously Chris is Chris. I mean, he makes people miss and runs hard and, and physical and, you know, is a very talented player. And, uh, you know, all of our backs are, but there's some yards we left on the field uh, in the run game. Excuse me, sorry. It's, it's early in the season. So is there anything about Missouri you know that surprises you or doesn't surprise you? No, I mean they're they're, you know, what you would expect. I mean they're good. Uh, they they play hard. Uh, they're a well coached football team, and you know that's where it starts. You know with uh, you know with guys in the right position and and play the game the way it's supposed to be played and play very physical, play hard, and uh, do a good job. They keep you off balance. Um, you know they certainly did a year ago with. They had a lot of uh, drives a year ago that were. You know they they worked for them. I mean, if if it, and again, I hate to go back too much on that, but but you know they had 20 points, but it felt like 40 by the way they controlled the ball. You know, a lot of third manageables and, and then some fourths that they converted. And so, um, just we got to do a better job. Corker in that defense, and what's the best words to describe him? Yeah, it's a great point. Nobody, you know, a lot of people don't talk about Yusuf that much, and. Uh, Yusuf is just one of those guys that just has so many plays under his belt. He's gotten so much better because of the work that he's put into it, and his coaches have done a nice job with him. And, um, you know, he's just – you just have to love him. He's just one of those guys, you know, just like a lot of guys you've heard me talk about. I hate to single out one because we have a lot of them. But, you know, the one that jumps out is, is Jamin, that he just kind of just came to work every day. You know what I mean? Just every day tried to get better and and did his job and, and you know, led his self, but obviously had influence on others. You know, we, we always talk about leadership, you know, lead yourself first. Well, they're one of those guys that always seem to do the right thing every day. 
and then they have an influence over their position group and then ultimately over the team. And, uh, and Yusuf's a lot like that. Yeah, very, very pleased with uh, JJ. No setbacks. He felt good. He's getting confidence, and uh, we'll see where we go from here. You know, we'll see how the week goes. I was pleased with Devonte. You know, he really uh, kind of got back to where he was a couple years ago, and you know, with the injury, and uh, and. Uh, you know, really did a good job, and we needed him to. It was a key position for us, and he did some good things. Mike Drennan and what he was able to do out there. Yeah. What can he bring? To that? Another, another one. Yeah, he could be one of those dynamic guys. You know, he's got some top end. He's he's got some wiggle, maybe, um, and uh, you know, can make people miss in the open field. Uh, but Michael, it was nice to see him also get some tough yards, get the ball in the end zone, and. Um, you know, becoming a complete back. Um, I, I think it's going to be a good switch for him and for us. It's been a while since you guys have played a night game here in front of your fans. Get back in that atmosphere here at home again. Well, it was great to uh, get home uh, last week and whatever time we play, but I, I appreciate the fans being there. Um, you know, it was it was warm, but it wasn't you know, at least it was uh, decent and I appreciate the people being there. It's going to be a night game, so no excuses. We need that place packed and uh, looking forward to it. There, there is, you know, oh, Monroe, just a level, like, a level of quality team, you know, coming in. Pardon me? Last yeah. year, you know, going on the 10. What did you see, though, from Monroe? Like, did they look like a good football team? Well, I think, you know, Monroe, um, you know, what I had a pretty good idea of going into it was um, – that uh, coach was going to have them fundamentally just trying to play the game the right way. Um, not much different than the situation I came into in year one. You know, I, I went through, you know, phases where you're trying to, you know, you, you're trying to win, and so you're sometimes throwing things at the wall, but ultimately you have to just become a, a, a better football team fundamentally. And um, so that's what I saw. I saw a team that was well coached, that was just, you know, trying to do things, you know, the right way on, on all sides. And they were. They were. They were well coached. They were in position. Um, but it also gives us a clean look, you know. So um, that was good for us in that way. Certainly. You know, with them being in, in year one, we, you know, obviously had better personnel, in, but it gave us clean looks. And that was really good for us to work on ourselves. And that's what, you know, I, I, I figured there'd be. I mean, that's, you know, kind of what you have to do, you know, when you're taking over a program like that, just fundamentally teaching those guys how to play the game. And uh, you certainly saw a lot of plays in there where they did things very good. Mark, you talked balance, balance, balance all, all preseason, and you have 34 rushes, 33 passes. Is that something that you're physically tracking in your mind, or you just let that go? Funny story about that. We were in our staff meeting after that, and uh, Liam told me that. And I said, really? It felt like 90% pass to me. <laughs> it just goes to show you kind of where our mindset has been. You know what I mean? I, it, I mean that. that. That's a true story. <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah. So no, we weren't trying to track that. You know, like, you know, on paper, say, you know, that's just the way he calls plays, and that's what we've talked about. That's what you want to be, but to be exactly in play counts, run and pass 50-50, are we looking for that every week at the end of the day? No. You're looking to win the game and do, you know, and as Hayden Fry used to say, scratch where it itches, you know. <laughs> How fast you guys were able to move the off from here to Going to the huddle and, and actually, mm. were you surprised? I wasn't surprised because I've seen that. You've heard, you've heard me talk about procedure a lot. And, uh, you know, it was different for you all to see a, a, a huddle, right? And, and us to break the huddle, get to the line of scrimmage, shift, motion, you know, again, rel you know, clean. We've been that way. The guys have worked hard. You know, the coaches have worked hard. Our players have worked hard. And uh, 
that's good. I mean, from a defensive perspective, you're breaking the huddle, you're getting to the line of scrimmage fast, there's motions, there's shifts. It's hard to get locked in. When you're at the line of scrimmage, even those guys that try to go fast but watch it from there, the defensive guys, you see the you see whether it's two by two or three by one. And you see, you know, whether there's big, you know, you get good, you get a beat on it sometimes. Not to say that it's easy, because it's not, depending on the personnel. A lot of it comes down to personnel. But uh, um, anyway, uh, you know, I, I like the procedure and I like the way we're we're getting in and out of the huddle and, and running the offense, you know, and just got to continue to build on it and get, you know, uh, better. Um, the the one uh, fumble or, you know, the, the one snap issue we had, I was getting down there to call the timeout. I probably should have got, you know, was walking down to call it. and uh, But it was on first sound and the minute Luke heard something, he snapped it. So things like that, we'll get continue to work on. Well, I, I want to give the fans victories, you know, so, um, or you'll be talking to a new guy up here. So um, I think that's the big thing is still to get victories. But I do also understand the importance of it. I mean, I like it too. It's a matter of what you can do, you know, what you can do well. And uh, I always, you know, you know, I want to win, and I want to do what we can do good. Um, you know, you would be talking to somebody else if I would have just sit there and said drop back pass, throw the ball, you know what I mean, and, and we just didn't get good at anything, you know what I mean? So we did things necessary to win games. Uh, do I wish we would have won a few more or had a little more bounce? Of course. You know, I'm always striving to be the best we can be. And, uh, you know, I think that's still the case, you know, whatever by any means necessary. However, again, um, any team that's one-dimensional one way or the other uh, does not present as many problems as the teams that can do both. You know, that, that's just fact. So doing what you want to do is doing it well, again, I mean, I'm, you're not going to get me to say that. That's your words. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to not going to say. I mean, we we have a lot of good things to build on. We're we're not excellent yet. We're striving for it. This ain't really a football question. I'm just kind of curious. 20th anniversary, you know, September 11th coming up. What day you gonna play? What does that mean? You just reflected on that. Yeah. For your players, it's maybe harder because. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's very good point, and I know exactly where I was. I was playing. We were getting ready to play. I was at with the Hurricanes, and I was in my office, and uh, and uh, one of the GAs or quality control coaches at the time or whatever were in their office breaking down film and saw it happen, and we were in there at defensive meeting and got and and obviously went over to his office, all of us, and watched it, and then we we saw the other plane hit. You know, as we we're watching it, and uh, obviously, I think just this shock at that point in time, you know, shock and in uh, a lot of different th reactions, sad, angry, disappointed. But uh, I think after a short amount of time, we knew we weren't going to play a football game that day or that Saturday. Okay, folks, thank you very yep. much. We'll see you tomorrow. Um,